Hello folks, Richard Reyes, Certified Financial Planner and Orlando's own financial quarterback. And today, let's talk about March Madness. We're in the beginnings of March Madness. And what I want to make sure is that we use some of the investment education that you've learned here and transfer it into your bracketology to make sure you win in March Madness. Number one, you got to keep it cool. Okay, in bracket terms, don't be a prisoner of the moment. Don't put too much stock on whether your team or the team uh, won its conference or the tournament or, or, or its tournament or made any early exit. Okay, look at the season as a whole and make sure you pick the teams that are built to make the run. Play the favorites. Okay, listen, a number 16 is hardly or ever going to beat a number one seed. So you want to make sure, just like in your portfolio, that you have some blue chips. And you have some high yield CDs or high yield bonds. Consider some of those high scoring teams, those high scoring blue bloods, okay, that you want to make sure you have in your portfolio that is like Kansas, North Carolina, Kentucky, and Duke. Number three, you want to temper your loyalties. No team loyalty here. Do not give in. If you're a fan of a team in the tournament, your own biases are probably going to have that team advancing a little farther than you th than it's than they probably are. Okay, let's take off our rose-colored glasses here. Again, we're going for the win. Number four, make sure you pull the risk. Okay, you want to make sure that at least a couple of those du double-digit seeds that overachieve and spark some real excitement in the later rounds are in your bracketology. But you also want those mid-level teams and high level performers who can pay off without piling on a bunch of, of risk uh, again in your bracketology. And number five, always remember, just like in Wall Street, well, March Madness is the same on the hardwoods. There's no guarantees. Past performance is not indicative or a guarantee of future results. So March Madness and investing use a lot of the same skills. So be a good observer. Stay calm. And don't risk more than you're willing to lose. And with that, I'll see you next time on Financial Good TV. And good luck on your bracketology.